my name is Magdalena Rengda. I'm Deputy Foundation Package Manager at Baltic Power. What you can see behind me are the secondary steel elements, which are part of the whole transition piece, being also part of the bigger structure which creates the whole foundation of the offshore wind farm turbine. Those secondary steel elements are fabricated in Polish facilities of smolders in Żary, in Łęknica and Niemodlin. Once they are completed, fabricated and coated in Polish factories, they will be transported to Newcastle, where the final assembly of the transition piece is being done. The the foundation of the wind turbine consists of two parts, which is the monopile and the transition piece. Once the fabrication is completed, the monopiles and transition pieces will go through the marshalling port to our offshore site, where the installation is going to start. The installation works will start in the beginning of 2025. Hello, I am Rafał Trzeciak, I am project manager at Smudlers. I'm responsible for Baltic Power Project. In Niemodlin, we have final stage of power manufacturing process. We are applying here anti-corrosion system. The corrosion system is very specific for uh, offshore wind market, so this process is under strict control. Secondary steel has to survive several decades, so that's why we have to apply special anti-corrosion system uh, to meet those requirements. Coating application is composed of several application steps. Everyone is very important and every step has to be strictly controlled. So we are starting from special preparation for rose material, for rose steel. After that we are applying first layer, which is metallized. Coating system is composed of several layers. Every layer is very important to meet the quality requirements for whole system. We need to ensure durability of those elements offshore. 60% of secondary steel is fabricated in Poland for Baltic power project.